thanks to Bryn, because yes. that meal was incredible. Oh, yeah. So, to the chef, it's to Bryn. To the chef, to Bryn. It still gets the viewers. The BBC's festive episode of comedy Gavin and Stacey got the highest Christmas Day TV ratings for more than a decade. But it is the ability of the corporation to still succeed in the future that appears to have driven Tony Hall's decision to stand down. The BBC's roster of shows like Fleabag, its staffing costs, all are paid for by the licence fee. But the agreement that allows the corporation to be funded this way, the Royal Charter, is due for renewal in 2027. And Lord Hall says a new person should be in charge to oversee the crucial negotiations with the government over the next few years. With critics of the licence fee growing more vocal, today in a statement Lord Hall warned in an era of fake news, we remain the gold standard of impartiality and truth. What the BBC is and what it stands for is precious for this country. We ignore it at our peril. Tony came from having run the Royal Opera House. He, has ste he was steeped in the tradition of uh, public service broadcasting, but at a time when there was far less choice than there is today. Um, and we need somebody who is now fully familiar with the new world of broadcasting and how it is changing. The broadcaster has rarely been out of the headlines during Lord Hall's tenure. There have been public rows over unequal pay for its female stars, controversy over its decision to scrap free TV licences for most over 75s and the added threat of the government decriminalising non-payment. All this against the growing dominance of online streaming services within a fast-changing media landscape. It's still a very significant organisation. It's still meeting the needs of, of, of so much of the population. Uh, but, you know, it is facing uh, uh, some very, very difficult issues ahead, particularly given the government questions over its licence fee and over impartiality in news. As the BBC now begins its search for Lord Hall's successor, a number of women are being touted for the role, which suggests the corporation could have its first female director general in its nearly 100 years of history. Amongst potential contenders are the BBC director of news, Fran Unsworth, and the director of content, Charlotte Moore. Whoever she or he is, they'll be steering the world's biggest broadcaster through a critical period. Nina Nanar, News at 10.